No. Why? Wait. Oh my god, he's coming my way. Wait, that's not my bow. There's my bow. Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel, and for today's video, we're in Parque Fernando. And, uh, yeah, the reason we're actually in this particular area up here... ...is there's this ridgeline. You can see all this hunting pressure. That's because I found this wonderful spot where I've been finding red deer after red deer after red deer. It's actually been amazing. It's been great. Uh, let me show you some clips from testing.
So how about that? I mean, I, I have to apologize. Of course, there's varying levels of quality with those. It's it's testing after all, and I keep getting sidetracked. But if I remember correctly, I think at least two or maybe three of those were max weight sevens. And uh, they just kept showing up in that same area. Am I going the right way? Yes. I'm actually going way the wrong way. Wait. Tracks this. Ooh, black buck. Still going the wrong way. I'm gonna go more this way. And apparently I just spooked a puma. That doesn't surprise me. So of course, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I want to head right back up there and see what I can find. I'm hoping to see another level seven, but I could be wrong. Oh my lord. There's black buck all over this place, apparently. I do love the red deer. I would honestly have to say my favorite animal to hunt in this game by far has been the red deer. Uh, especially when it was their legacy racks. The new ones, I guess I haven't seen any very big ones. Or at least not personally. I mean, I've seen them in other people's videos, but not personally. It, it's just, they look amazing. They really do. And I really just can't wait to get me a diamond with the new rack system. A true, what do you call it? True deer? True red deer? I have a diamond of the legacy rack, and I, I just, I'd like to get him a friend. That's all it is. But... My god, this map is looking great. It's amazing, I go and I play other games and it's like, man, there's there's just so much more going on. This game is so slow and, you know, it, it, it takes a special kind of patience to play a game like this. And then you see a scene like this with the sun coming through the trees and everything is like, oh, no, no, this is just a beautiful engine. So anyways, I'm gonna head up to that ridge line, the exact same spot I was before, and uh, go see if there's any red deer. There's actually a stand up there, right up here. And I might try and see if I can get in that stand if I don't come across something along the way. But, never know. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is their zones don't start for a minute. And uh, one, once they do, they're going to be probably coming right up across over there. There might be one or two that come up out of the tree line right down here. And during the testing, what I found is that there was one herd that would settle off in some of the defilades over here. And one herd that would actually bridge and go onto that hillside right there. So seeing as I have pretty good visibility from here, I think I'm gonna sit tight for a minute, let everything kind of move in, settle in, and I'm hoping this is the side where I've been seeing all the big sevens. And I think I got the two max weight sevens, so I'm hoping something big comes in over here and uh, makes this trip worth it. And of course part of me is kind of thinking there's always the possibility nothing will happen because maybe now hunting pressure will kick in. Hasn't stopped anything in the past, but you never know. All right, it's been about an hour in game and no sign of life. So again, either hunting pressure has finally did its job, even though it didn't delete any need zones, or I'm just in the wrong spot to see down in there. Either way, I'm just gonna scoot up a little bit and see if I can't, well, obviously find something. Because <laughs> of course the main problem is like, you can see that little bush right there. That definitely there is actually big enough to hide an entire herd of red deer. Ah, speak of the devil. Matter of fact, not that bush, but I think it was that. That's the defilade I was even talking about. Didn't sound that far away though. He's gotta be right down in here. Not gonna lie, I have pretty high hopes because of what I've gotten in this area before. Am I stuck on that rock? Come on. All right, now I'm quite certain I heard him down in here. I do not see him yet. I think this is going to be one of those times where patience is key. I mean, I've seen him take the same path so many times. Surely, he's going to come up and take a nap up here. Now, I actually don't think I can see it anymore. Oh. Ow. Little four easy. You can't be the only one. Why are you nerd? Oh, there's, there must be pumas around. I know there's a puma area right down in those trees somewhere. Please don't be the only one. I'd hate to have done all this for a four. There he is. He's coming in close, though. Ah, but... Mm, oh my lord. Okay, nope, we're not shooting. We're not shooting. So, behind me, I just got a vocalization call from a cow... Cow? Female? Doe? Probably on the other side of the ridge line and going to head over to this hill over here. Uh-oh. But I'm just gonna relax and let everything move in. We'll see what, uh, hopefully one of them is a nice biggin. All right, I have a debate to make. A uh, debate? I have a decision to make. There we go, that makes more sense. Take him, move on, because I'm not seeing anything else move in, or be patient and wait longer. There's only three hours left, and technically this ridge line is actually blocking my view of the center of their zones. So it is quite possible that over that ridge line there are more. 
And not to mention there's actually an area on this hill back there, like the tree is, that I can't see because this is in the way. But if I move up without taking him, I'm probably going to spook him because of my wind. It, he's not a trophy, but it's money because he's probably going to pull 1,200. And he's only 90 yards away laying down. I could probably nick a heart. You know what? Let's do it. 1,200 bucks seems worth it. Uh, I say I probably could nick a... Oh, Jesus. I so hit the wrong... No idea if that's what that, that second shot's going to be off. I thought I saw something run over there. He's down. I did hear running in the tree line over here, though. And I was hearing something earlier that I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't quite put my finger on. I thought it was just an ambient bird noise, but maybe I was wrong. I said, I know that, uh, I think it's as I get to this next little hilltop, I can look down there. There's a, a puma area. Oh, wasn't a puma I was here. Wait a ticket. Was he over here? Did I just kill a red deer? Oh, there he is. Yeah, see, now you can see how big this defilade over here is. Second shot, then pen. Oh, I did get a lung. I was too far left for the heart. Oh, well. Uh, Almost 1,400 cash, excuse me. Yeah, this is definitely one of those areas where you kind of just creep along the top, peering down in these little valleys, and you will see all kinds of stuff. You know what? I'm in the wrong spot, because I recognize, no, over here should be Puma. There should be Puma down in there somewhere. Because that's... Oh, my lord, this is the valley. I was looking at the wrong freaking valley. I'm an idiot. The, the problem is, is that in testing, I run with my scene complexity turned down so that I get a more steady frame rate. And what that does is certain bushes and things won't render in. So like, I'm quite certain none of that is rendered in if I turn complexity down. So the area only looks semi-familiar. There's those females that I heard earlier. Is that just one cow by herself or one doe? I, I, I can't remember. I know red deer are called stags, but I can't remember what the other ones are called. Yeah, I think we're gonna go get in that stand. I'm not seeing anything else over there. I won't be able to see her, I don't think, once I get in that stand. Oh, hang on. No, that's, uh, your connection to the Steam server has been lost. Game will now quit. Why? Why do I need freaking internet for a single player game? Damn you, Storm Outside. Damn you. Okay, let's try this again. I haven't set the time or anything. I'm just gonna book it for that stand and try and get up in there. Spook whatever I spook, and then uh, hopefully it'll all come back in, I guess. Apparently it's a race against the storm. Oh, jeez. There's a seven, there he is. I got another call from over to my right. I just kind of ran up on him, didn't I? There he is. Look at that. That is a max weight class seven. That is a beautiful looking animal right there. I think I just want to watch him for a second and see where he goes. Oh my God, I lost sight of him. There he is. Where does it look like he's headed? He's headed that way. You know what? My best bet might be to go ahead and try and make it up to this. Oh, there's the stand. I think I'm gonna just go this way and try and get up to the top of that hill. So I'm willing to bet he's gonna go uh, into a rest zone. Probably somewhere on the far side of that peak to the left. I guess we'll find out. Ah! Oh wait, that's a six. That's a different one. Still, he's not half bad looking. Yep. Right in the zone. Alright, so if my seven is on this side of the ridgeline, I can't see him. But... For me to get to that stand, I'm going to have to get really close to the six. So part of me is like, I might as well take the six and then get to the stand to spot the seven. I think that's the way I'm going to do this. He went down and I don't see any movement. Okay. So we'll grab him, head up to the stand, and hopefully see that seven move back in. 1,500 cash, double lung, I'll take it. Stuck on a rock. Well, clearly this stand is intended to look this way. So I got a pretty good sight over there. But uh, back the way I actually want to look, not so much. All right, so I'll sit tight for a moment, see if I see anything. If not, then I'm willing to bet he's over this ridge line here where that rock is. And I just need to actually go that way. Oh, hey. Yeah, I said there were pumas down there. There's a puma. You know something I just considered? 
<laughs> and people might think me dumb for it. There's no window here. I can shoot. Window. Window. I actually can't shoot that way from here. Oh, I, I feel dumb. Okay, well, I guess I might as well get out of this stand then. Unless he wanders across over here, I have no shot. Heck of a view, though. Out. Let me out. What? He's right here. It's just my scent. My scent's what's getting him. I'm just gonna back off to my left and look for movement, because he's somewhere in this brush right here. Oh. No, that's not him. Well, that's a good sign to see that. Maybe if I can get to this little ridge here. You'd think it'd be easier to spot one of the dang trees moving. I cannot find him. I actually don't even know where that other one went. The one that was right here, walked right in front of us. Went off that way somewhere. Maybe that way? See, the mistake I made was taking a different path. If I'd stuck to the trail, I wouldn't have spooked him out of his zone over here. If he's in this brush, I'm not going to be able to see him. I'm going to have to keep moving until I can get another sound out of him. I think he's down here. Now, if I had spotting outline and tracks turned on, I could just run through the brush and find him. But no, nope, I got to try and make things difficult for myself. The heck is that? There's a train glitch. Oh, there's a seven very hard puma. Wait, that's the three. That's the seven. Okay, where'd that freaking red deer go? Hmm. All right. Well, I guess better luck tomorrow because time's pretty much up. They're all going to be moving on and I actually don't know where. Usually just over here, but they're gone. They're all completely gone. Wait, except for you. One little loner. There's always one little loner. That's actually probably the one I saw earlier. All right. Yep. Better look tomorrow. You know, something thought occurred to me. If I were smart, I'd have the red deer collar on me. Yep, I should have the red deer collar on me. All right. Now I have the proper collars on me, and I also realized something. Oh, no. I brought the frickin' bow. Well, there's the pumas moving in. That's a good sign. Okay, first contestant. Now I shot the six, I shot the five, so is it a replacement for one of those two, or is that the seven? Let's cross our fingers. Of course, I can't actually see down there to tell. He's close, he's right down here. Well, he's down there. Sounds like he's actually moving away. All right. Given the time and everything, I'm going to make the assumption he has moved on yonder somewhere. That and I'm not getting any responses. So it is time to keep moving on. Hmm. So he's still down there. Maybe I'll just keep working this way and kind of keep parallel to him and eventually he'll pop out for into one of these defilades. Or maybe he is in one, because I think it goes down right over here. Uh, how funny is it going to be when uh, I finally catch up to this guy and it turns out to be uh, the replacement to, like, the four or the five? Keep in parallel. That's a good sign. Oh. Did I... I swear I just saw movement right there. All right. There's the puma. There should be another one in there somewhere, which means somewhere over here. Wait, wait. <gasps> there he is. I can't see him because of this tree here. Like, I saw him this way. And maybe I can zoom in. He probably doesn't have antlers if I'm zooming in on him right now. Because he's beyond antler render range. So the question is now, how am I going to get a shot on that? I, I can't. Did he just move? No, there he is. I can, I can just see his leg sticking out. He's nervous. Okay, so he keeps getting nervous because he's crossing in this field over here where there's the puma. Now, without binos, he is facing away from me. I think he just turned his head to the left to do the little antler scratch thing. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now I got a pretty good sight of him. I don't know, but I've been hunting this guy now for, what, like two days in game? Three if you count the crash. I'd like to get close enough for a bow kill, but where he is, I'm not sure I see that being possible. 
I just go through this brush here on my belly, cross my fingers, or I actually... That little dip to the right of that rock isn't too deep. I might be able to do that. Yeah, all right, screw it. Let's go for a bow kill. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I screw it up and there goes another day. I'm gonna have to get really close anyways, because I can't... Like, I can barely make out the rack right there. And I see a leg. But he is max weight class, I believe. 529? So it'll be good for respawns. Of course, I've shot a few 529, and I'm still waiting to see something bigger than a 7 come back. Alright, so here's where things are going to start getting difficult. If I keep going straight on, I got, I'll got i get a clear shot on him. But he'll be angled, his butt's over here, his head's up here. So he's angled, I, I would be coming from his right rear. If I scoot right to make it more broadside, the hitbox on these trees is ridiculous, and even though I might have a clear shot, it'll actually hit a branch. I can't move up to the right to get to the other side of him because he'll go downwind. And if I move to the left, I'll lose sight of him and have to cross my finger fingers. You'd, you'd cross more than one. That he'd still be there when I get back. I think I'm going to go for the right rear shot. Uh, that might be my best bet. I know I'm overthinking it for a seven and I have a rifle. But again, I've been hunting this guy now for three freaking days. You know, it, it's time to bring him down. Guy, he, I love the way the new racks look. I can't wait to see, like, what a 9 Legendary looks like in for myself. And the wind is high. I got, I'm gonna have to get close. But I can't get too close because there's a dip right here in front of me. How far is that? That dip is 50 yards from me. And he's 73. So if I come up that dip to where I have sight of him, like those rocks right there, I'm gonna be like 20 yards from him. But I don't have a choice. Uh, this crosswind is way too strong to try and take a long shot. <laughs> Crawling Simulator 2020. Look, a rock. No. Why? Wait. Oh my god, he's coming my way. Wait, that's not my bow. There's my bow. Oh, please let that be a good hit. No. Was that a bad hit? Had to be, right? I... Oh my god, I don't think... Wait, it was too high. Did he go? No, wait, he went. He went on the other side of this hill. What happened here? Dang it. Shoulder blade must have stopped it and I didn't get through to a lung. Or the wind caught it and I missed the lung. I didn't expect- I mean, I've been crawling for, what, about 20 minutes now. I was not expecting him to suddenly get up and move closer. And I rushed my shots. Which is what I tend to do. Wait. Did I just start running like an idiot and that's not his hunting pressure? That's not his hunting pressure. Because that's not the center of the- Oh, I'm an idiot. He's still alive and I just started running. Now that's gotta be his hunting pressure, right? Oh no, he, he bled out, he bled out. Oh my god, he's zigged and zagged a lot. Wait, there's more blood. Oh no, he turned completely around. Oh boy, wait, he turned, he turned. Oh, I see blood right there by the rock. He's been zero to 25 for a second. He's gotta be getting close this way, this way. Oh, thank God for tracers. All this open field, oh, and I can't see him because you had to uh, look at the size of that rack holy heck your back palms are actually really tiny for a seven like some of the ones i should have in the lodge are definitely bigger actually kind of barren all right well, let's see what we got here yep so the wind caught it carried it across and i missed both lungs but he was a 205 pretty big you know what i'm gonna keep him just for comparison oh that was amazing he just disappeared no flickering or nothing all right I want to head to the lodge. All right, I got quite a few ow, deer to sort up. I have to change my graphic settings when I come here. Uh, let's see. I have four. I didn't even realize I got four. So I need to find spot. I want four and I want to stick four next to each other. Where can I do that? Can I do that? You can take red deer. Can you take red deer? You can take red deer. You know what? Yeah. So I think, yeah, so these are the four. So that's the one. Oh, that's not the one we just got. Oh, it is. Yeah, so that's the one we just got. These are all sevens, but that's that's by far my favorite out of the ones we just got. Look at that thing. And that's just a 212. 
That thing is absolutely just massive. That one ain't bad looking either. I think that's actually, that would be the first one I got. Hang on. Uh, 0902, 0903. Yeah, so that was 0904, yeah. So this is the first one I got. Then I got that one. Then I got that one. That, I'm gonna say, that is probably my favorite red deer spot. God, this is why I love red deer. Look at that, they're gorgeous animals. All right, so I, I meant to go there for mule deer. I probably still will at some point go back for mule deer. But that being said, that does it for this one. So there are buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't, and as always, buttons to push. Until next time. Oh, I hadn't looked at my mule deer since I got rid of the frame stutter. Look at this. I just have to turn the scene complexity all the way down to be able to run through here. It's amazing. I can run scene complexity on high in any of the reserves except for Veronga Savannah. And then here, because this is Veronga Savannah, I have it all the way down to low and it's still putting me up at 94, 97% GPU. What is with Veronga? There you are. I mean, he's cool. But I still think I like the red deer more. That pole still has done nothing to you. Chill. I've gotten... Oh, I was already running the right way and got lost.